Welcome to the House of Kittens, everyone. This is Fukat, and today we are playing Welcome to Hanwell. So this is a brand new indie horror game that I found on Game Jolt. It is about some place called Hanwell that is invaded by a bunch of monsters called Anomalies. And I guess we just have to try to escape from it. Saw the screenshots of the game, and they look superlative. Oh, there goes one of the Anomalies right now. <laughs> just crawling his way through the hall. Alright, so... Start the new game. And loving memory of Graham Foster, April 10th, 1952 to December 31st, 2016. A second father to me for 16 years. Who's the first? Hmm. Okay. So is that like a real life reference there? Or is that like in the game? Okay, so so far, this game looks phenomenal. I really like it. It definitely has this Outlast look to it. Uh, do I have a body? I indeed do have a body, so they definitely nailed this. They wanted to build something like an Outlast vibe. This is going to be that game. So I can't escape from this. I have to, like, find a key. I doubt that's how it works. Oh, there we go. Guess I just had to wait patiently. This area is out of service. Something something item notice. That's too bad. Alright, so I guess we have to go this way. Escape. Okay, I guess that's my objective. Otherwise, I don't see why I should press any sort of escape. Doesn't seem like one of those fourth wall breaking games. There's a fridge right here. Has trash. What looks to be neon alien cookies. A TV. Joe, the phone broke. I need to get on to the warden about why we're down here stuck with all of this shiz falling apart when the suits upstairs get a brand new office. Plus these guys are getting impatient. Half of them haven't even had a trial. I'm leaving early. Okay. Good on you, leaving early. That's indeed broken. <laughs> okay, so. I guess we'll just go this way then. Maybe there'll be more to the story here. Okay, so none of the phones work, even though they look like they're on. Weird. Ouch. <laughs> that can actually hit you. And it actually bounces too. I like this game so far. It's beautiful. You can actually turn off monitors. I did not know you could do that. Oh, there's a key. I could not understand one word he just said, but this is cool. This is different. This is different from what you do in Atlas when you walk to the side. He actually uses his legs and then turns sideways like that. Atlas never did that. He just like moved like that all the time in Atlas. So yeah, big improvements there. I like that. All right, we'll go ahead and check what's through this door. I wonder what the key's for. I haven't gone ahead and tried it yet. Hanswell Daily. I obviously can't read that through the monitor. What's over here? There's a blue screen. Some areas on the outskirts of the city have lost power. Expect calls. The HCPP will be running a skill still kill. I can't read that. On Joe. Okay, so... Joe is getting chased by a spider on February 24, 2017, which happened about a month ago. Burners becoming an issue on Littlewood. 
I can't read that blue writing. It's just so difficult to read through that little tiny font. The anomaly and the call is temporary. People deal with it. The council will be arriving tomorrow. 2296. Okay, so I don't know what any of this is about. But maybe I'll keep that in mind because maybe I had to use that for a code. And we got some vulgar language here. Hmm. A lot of these games just like to use vulgar language. Almost every horror game I played, I always wanted to use those. Okay, so I guess this is the security camera system software. It almost looks like Unity. When you open up Unity, they always have like this gray scheme look. And I guess this is our... Yeah, it's safety. I'm gonna go ahead and panic. Alright, so where does this key go to? Is it gonna be for this? It is. Alright. Pretty straightforward gameplay so far. That almost looks like the same rules. Um. Those nostrils! <laughs> Did you see those nostrils? It's just like... <laughs> wow. Okay, so that woman looked pretty Asian. Wonder uh, which type of Asian she is. Looks more Taiwan in my opinion. She looks sort of Taiwan. Anywho, these look like the showers that I could easily get molested in, so I will get out. Alright, yard. This is the yard? Oh, I don't know why that lag was happening all of a sudden. Freedom this way. If you can go past the, the bitch, female dog. Okay, I'll go past the female dog. What was that that I picked up? Oh my gosh, do I have a weapon in this game? Hold on, I actually, I don't care about the flashlight right now. I want to see if I can use the weapon. Doesn't look like I can actually start up combat right now. Maybe we'll start out in here. So I said freedom is this way. That seems a bit dubious. Did I wake someone up from their nap? Alright. Crouching eliminates the sound of your footsteps. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> no, did I die? Wait, what? Um, I don't have my weapon anymore. There's a cave hole, though. Go down. Ha! Huh, you can't go down this because you have a broken back. <laughs> She's trying her hardest to go in. Okay, so I'll just go down here. Probably gonna get killed by an army of those things. I don't know. Yeah. Don't really like the cave environment stuff in horror games. Just feel that they're mundane. I don't see a snake. So why is there a hiss sound? I don't know. Probably just sound effects just to make you think that there's something there, but there's really not. Okay. Why'd that happen twice? That was it, huh? Created by Nathan Seedhouse, coming late 2017. Okay. So... It didn't get too much of a story there. I, I think I only read like a note or two. Phone calls were a bit difficult to understand, like I just couldn't really make out what... Huh? I think the game might be broken in some way, but this is pre-alpha, so... You know, maybe they'll make some changes and fixes there. Yeah. So, I think I look forward to playing this. I mean, it's not very scary, but I don't care about the scare factor in horror games anymore. It, it doesn't really matter anymore because nothing even gets me. Why does it keep doing that? What? So, in the full version of this game, we're not just going to be traveling around a warden the entire time, just like Outlast did. We're actually going to be escaping through the warden and then traveling around the entire city of Hanwell, like the pubs, residential homes, parks. 
Which is good, I feel that making a variety of areas to travel around makes the game more exciting because I just hate going around just one asylum the entire game. It just, it's just too mundane for me. I just don't enjoy games like that. Yeah, I feel pretty optimistic about this game. I feel it's gonna be quite a success when it comes out as a full release. Just as long as they <laughs> fix up those random jump scares that happen at the end, like the credits keep jump scaring me for no reason. I don't understand why. Yeah, looking forward to it, and let me know what you guys thought about this game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this playthrough of Welcome to Hanwell, and subscribe in the outro if you guys want to save a kitten, share this to your friends if you guys want to adapt a kitten, and I'll see you guys in the next playthrough. Stay awesome, kitty savers.